I'm getting trash hands here. I'm not even going to play a small stack. This isn't. This doesn't even qualify as a marginal hand, so don't get stupid with stuff like this. Uh, this is not a trash hand. This is quite a bit better. Uh, however, i got to be careful of who's coming in here. Stage of the tournament matter. All right, a small stack has pushed all in. I think I should be isolating this guy. So, yes, I'm going to re-raise here. Hopefully get these two guys. He limps, so he's likely he goes, hey, this is a good situation. Smaller stacks, not... What the fuck? Look at that. Well, yeah, well, I can't beat that. So, uh, reasonable risk. I was 50-50. I isolated the guy. Uh, I did the right thing. Lost the hand. No big deal. Although that uh, put me into the yellow M zone. It wasn't a GCI situation, but, you know, pretty, uh, you know, 3,000 was a good chunk of my stack, but 50-50, you know, I'm going up uh, with a coin flip situation. That is just fine. This guy has been raising too much here. Puts in a stupid 999 raise. I'm going to try and uh, take it away from him on the flop. With Queen King, I have a reasonably strength, strong hand here to protect my button. And that's what I should be playing for. Oh, what's this guy doing? Well, either he's got a strong hand or he's pulling a squeeze, and either way, I got to see. I would have been able to take that away from him. See how fast he folded? But really good play over here. That guy took it away from both of us. Who knows? He might have saved. <laughs> he might have saved me and kept me in the tournament. Damn it! All right. So now, yellow M zone. I am 154, uh, 156 of 481. Hey, little connectors. Like to see a flop with. Uh, but, oh, look at a min raise here. So if I call, he's likely going to call over here. So these are pretty good odds. 5.3 to 1, he should call. All right, he does. Well, I hit a pair, but, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to be betting this. I'm not short enough to push in this situation here right now. I'm still yellow M zone. Wow. Okay. That was that was a puny bet. What is he doing? It's conceivable he has missed all of this. Now he checks. Queen is a little scary. Ace jack, ace 10, ace king. Let's see what he has. Ace jack, maybe? He played it pretty soft on the flop. Ace king suited. Huh, okay. Well, we've got a few chips there. That's a pretty risky play, but once you start getting down into lower levels of the yellow M zone, it's no problem to be playing a little bit more loose and, you know, trying to hit, trying to get lucky. Uh, not so good here. Not so good. I need some free cards and free cards that work for me. I gotta watch out for this player over here. Megan's pretty good. And of course, being in the money in while you're building your bankroll is key. So I am there. At this point, however, in the money stage, you should be opening up your risk window and seeing more hands. As you can see here, I'm already orange M zoned as well. Not because, you know, I've uh, killed any chips, but that's just because of the natural progression of the blinds and the antis now. Where that, you know, I've been pushed into the orange M zone. 400, 800 blinds, 75 anti. So, so there's something to fight for in each pot. This flop didn't work for me at all. I got two willing participants who I don't really know because of course we've just gotten here I see six hands so we're just gonna let that go by 
Ace five. Hey, I'm orange M zone. I'm almost red M zone. Hey, I'll take a shot. With me going all in, the pot's now nearly nine thousand. So I got to do it. If I get called, I'm surely behind. But I need to get lucky. I'd rather do it with an ace five than ace six, seven, eight, or nine because you got some straight potential here. I need an ace. I got one. Got to avoid a king. Got to avoid it. I do. He's going to be mad. But hey, really I was hoping to take down the blinds there, but if I got called, of course I had outs. He made the right play. I made the right play. That's the way it goes. A lot of times, of course, I'd be knocked out here and you wouldn't even be watching this tournament. But because I won, we're going to continue. And this, again, goes towards the whole numbers and math of the thing in that this is how you have to play in the money stage after you've secured your bankroll strategy you know earned that buy-in back earned a little bit of profit secured your ROI in the money stage that's where you gotta open it up especially when you are orange M zone so that actually brought me back into the yellow M zone so I'm definitely not secure in this tournament but got a little bit of breathing room and being yellow M zone can afford me some more time to look for some better hands all right, I'm yellow, but I'm also pretty close to orange, so you could play it tight here, but well, I got a tight player here in the blinds here. Uh, Ace-9, it's usually a fold. I haven't raised at all at this table, so I think I'm gonna, just going to try and steal the blind, see what happens. Hopefully I take him down because I don't want to play a flop with this hand. If it's probably a fold if either one of these guys come all in because even though they are half my stack size it's still half my stack and I don't necessarily want to go from yellow to you know close to red all of a sudden please fold oh he's putting on some drama Jeff's the guy I beat earlier. And another limper over here. This guy's been limping a lot now. Jeff comes in. He's only got 5,000 chips left. And he, and he calls there. It's kind of silly. I don't know what he's doing here. Uh, top pair. A little chemistry there, though. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta sort of check that and play a little bit. Quiet. Actually, that card was pretty good for me. So, five players. Uh, only reason I'm betting here is because they all checked, and if somebody re-raises me, it's total fold. Usually, I would just check that. Oh, horrible card. So I just gotta check now. 9,500 there. Uh, I can't even call a call a bet here now. Here, I probably just should have checked the turn. Whoa, wow! Still pulled it off. I don't know what they had. Jack and ten and pocket nines. Hmm. He limped in with pocket nines over here. He was hoping for a better flop than that. He was hoping for, you know, an all uh, low card flop. So that's why I was just sort of calling and checking it down. Ace 10 late position. I, that's another raising hand, depending on what happened. Okay, perfect. They gave me an avenue to raise here. Had I been raised before that, I would have folded. It's so nice to see 22,000 in chips when you know you were down to 350. It's great. Fold. What's this guy gonna do? He's been calling a lot. He's he's uh, playing a bit too pass. Tight donkey. If he pushes, I got a call with my ace ten. I think. Again, he's a short stack here. Got to keep them in mind. And he folds too. Well, king queen offsuit in the big blind. 
There has not been a lack of blind stealers in this game, that's for sure. JJJ Lee over here being one of them, Olsen another. They've both been trying to steal my blinds. And basically getting away with it because I haven't had anything. Uh, this is a defender hand for the big blind, for sure. And since he only min-raised uh, 2.6 to 1, that is a definite call. Don't want to be... Um, don't want to be dominated with this hand, but got some potential on this one. Now that's a small bet. God, I gotta hit a gut shot. I should probably call this King Queen or a ten, and I might be able to take this down. So I think I'm gonna call this and hope for a good turn. Right, thanks. BS. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this up. I'm just gonna check it and fold it. I don't really know if he has a hand. That's a that's a pretty good bet, though. <laughs> By the way, that bet is he's he's got ace four. Stupid ass. Ah, shit. Gave up a few chips there. Not good. Okay, well we'll watch for a situation. Trying to get it back, and in particular against one of these aggressive players. Let them bring the chips. Right? You look at again with the limping. 6,000 chips. Limp. See? This is what happens. Small stack goes in behind. Calls he's behind. Looks like it's going to work out for him, though. 